Yes, you read the title correctly. Dropshipping is dead. Now this is not where I go and say, dropshipping is dead, unless you do it my way. No, dropshipping as a whole is gone, in my opinion. There will still be guys who make videos about it and attempt to monetize that subject because dropshipping is a very expensive keyword, by the way, to target for ads, non-ironically. There will still be guys talking about this. But moving forward, this is not a business model that you should pursue if you are looking to start your first business. The peak of dropshipping was really about 2017 because in 2017, that was when the Facebook ads started to get expensive enough that it was no longer worth doing this en masse and it became much easier to package the information into a course that they could sell for an 80 to 90% profit margin. And because of the rates of YouTube ads, even those courses have lost their margin. So let alone try to pay for a physical product on top of that. And because of guys like CoffeeZilla, Spencer Cornelia, and the entire list of characters that fall under that category, we have seen just how unlikely you are to have success in this space. That does not mean e-commerce in as a whole is something you shouldn't pursue. I'm not saying that at all. It's a lot harder than someone on a YouTube video is going to make it. If you're going to do e-commerce, there needs to be one of a few things at play. Either you have your own brand, like a lot of YouTubers do where they have their own merch. That's different because now they're, these are people who are trying to support you. Even if you are just selling another t-shirt or you have a unique product in some way, shape or form that no one else has. To which most of you are going to go, well, that's a hard thing to do. Yeah, yeah, it is. And that's why the few people who can pull that off will make a lot of money. But if you are doing the same thing that 8 billion people can also do, because any human being with thumbs and a brain can go on AliExpress and run a Facebook ad to it and also lose money, Going forward, I don't want to be a negative Nelly. I want this to be a good opportunity to point something out very important. If you are trying to make money this year, if you are trying to start your first business, I want to help you shift your focus from the lazy, quick, whatever ways of making money to the actual ways of making money. If you want to make money this year, the easiest thing you can do is go call up business owners, and just every adult friend you have in your local area, your parents, friends, whatever. Ask what services in our area do we not have that we should? Some variation of that question. Because in that question, in the answer to that question, will be where you should be considering building a business. Because the people you just asked, the next thing you can go is, if I did that for you, would you pay me for that service? Right? As soon as you do that, you are now competing against, for starters, going from the whole world down to just your area, which might be your neighborhood or a city. Doesn't matter. You're competing against fewer people. And then if you're competing in the area where there isn't enough people doing something or nobody doing it, now you have very little competition. And that is where money can be made. I know that's not a, like a cookie cutter. This is what you should do. I don't know what you should do. I don't know where you live. If anyone can do this on earth, it's not a good opportunity because that means it has what I would call infinite competition. So I hope that was helpful. This year, if you're trying to make a business, do a service based for your local area that no one else is doing. That's it. That's as broad as you can make it. It's up to you to figure out the rest. And hopefully you can watch more of my videos to maybe help you along the way with that. Thanks.